hello everyone in this video i will show you how to make a pack and go perfect pack and go in solidworks so file is transmitted uh, hello everyone in this video i will show you how to make a perfect pack and go in solidworks 220 so first the case is uh, you uh, when you design a part and after that after that you can uh, make arrange an assembly but uh, when you have when you uh, when you are giving it to some someone else but you need to attach the whole parts in a one file but this is uh, sometimes if you need uh, if you have large lot of parts you can't uh, you can't collect all the all the things into one file so you will miss something uh, here i have uh, 18 number of parts to uh, go uh, make a pack and go method so first thing is uh, you need to release the uh, mates but to fix uh, for before uh, make the drawings so after that uh, you will produce the drawings you have to release these mates so i can freely move like this and uh, first first thing is uh, the late cases uh, if you fix the parts uh, fix these parts with the front panel and uh, by using this uh, view mates in front panel you can release the front panel mates so it is the uh, simplest way to uh, make release the parts so you need to you you need to fix the existing parts into uh, this front plane after making the drawings you can release by uh, release the mates by using this view mates option so in the front panel you can use this view mates option to release the uh, as a mates so you can freely move like uh, move components can be moved freely so after that go to file and you will see the pack and go method so i have a number of parts is uh, my number of parts is 18 so i have 18 parts in this assembly in this assembly i need i have 18 parts and i have and uh, one assembly so all together it is 19 and i have 20 drawings so i i have uh, 18 number of parts then i have one assembly parts assembly drawings so 18 plus 19 and one exploded view uh, result so i have now i have 20 drawings so 18 number of parts and one assembly drawing and one exploded view drawing all together 20 drawings so you can include drawings in here if you don't see the drawings you can include drawings by clicking on tick on in here and include toolbox components so if you added toolbox components into your assembly you can simply uh, uh, click on this uh, this checks checkbox to apply those toolbox components into the assembly so include simulation results means if you have motion studies or flow simulations or some things you can uh, in you can insert into them also uh, in in this file so include custom details appearance and scenes uh, here i didn't apply appearance into my draw uh, assembly but if you applying these uh, assembly spa assembly parts or appearance into your parts you can simply uh, make a check check on this uh, checkbox so other things is uh, this is the preview one so here i have that assembly and i have uh, assembly assembly drawing assembly drawing and assembly uh, excluded exported drawing so in here i have two exported views so other thing is uh, others are the part uh, part drawings and the parts so these are the what i need to transport in as a one file so this is the nested view so you can have a flattered view too after that uh, you may uh, my recommendation is save as a zip file so this is uh, up to here you can make a zip, zip, uh, zip file by using whole document after that go to this uh, as a single folder so you can have minimal folder keep your full full folder structure but in here one zip file means i need a one file and give the location into here 
so my file name is as uh, this is so I am simply apply save here so it will generate your zip file into your given location it may take some time okay now you can see uh, what happened in there this is my file so click double click and open it see see what what is in the folder so all together all parts and the all drawings files are located now in this zip so you can i can do this you can trans transfer this zip by uh, without having no uh, errors so all the all the sm components are in this uh, folder now thank you for joining with me for so far for doing this uh, tutorial and so, uh, full lesson parts so let's join with another tutorial soon so, goodbye everyone thank you for sharing and watching my videos